Welcome back to my channel. Um, I need a little motivation today. I didn't want to do anything productive. <laughs> um, I'm watching Good Girls on Netflix right now, which if you haven't seen it, I suggest you watch it. It's super good. Um, but I'm in season two and things are getting pretty spicy. <laughs> um, and that's all I did last night. I didn't clean the house or do dishes like I normally do at the end of the day. I didn't work out. I just took the night off and I watched Netflix and that's what I wanted to continue to do today. But I know that there's things that I want to get done before the weekend and so I was like, I'll just film it and maybe that'll give me some motivation to do it. So it's going to be like a power hour speed clean today. Um, I kind of created a little to-do list of things that I absolutely wanted to get done. And we will see how much I get done in that time frame. I can, yeah, we'll just see, we'll just see how good we do. But this is what my little to-do list looks like right now. I got see, dishes I have to pick up from the morning still, fold um, my husband and my laundry, put the kids laundry in the wash, put their bedding in the wash, vacuum their rooms, and I wanted to start off with turning the Roomba on for the downstairs just to do that while I do all of the other things. So I'm going to set a timer and we are going to get done. All right, let's get to it. You take my love for granted. So the timer is set and we are starting in the kitchen as always, getting some dishes done. I love setting timers to get cleaning accomplished. I find it motivating and kind of like a game, like how much can I get done in the time frame I set it for. Sometimes, you know, I do the hour, sometimes I do 30 minutes, sometimes just 10 minutes. It also kind of helps me find it bearable to complete the task. So I'll just say I, I'll just clean for this amount of time and then I have the rest of the time to do whatever I want. So like maybe watch some more Netflix. So. If you are needing some motivation, maybe try this tactic and see if it works for you. As I had mentioned earlier, I chose not to do my nightly cleaning routine last night. So I have a massive amount of dishes in the sink and we're going to get them taken care of so I can breathe a little bit easier. Your love. 
My dog has this thing where he needs to dump his food out every time he eats and eat it off the floor as opposed to out of his bowl. I have no idea why he's done this. He's done it since he was a puppy and we just deal with it. So I end up sweeping it up like a million times a day. After we check off some things we've already accomplished, I'm moving on into the living room and doing a little bit of tidying up from the morning. There's always a bunch of random things all over the floor that need to be picked up. And now we're in my daughter Elena's room. I'm just gonna open up her curtains a little bit, let some light on in, and gonna do some tidying, change her bedding, get her laundry, and do a good vacuum. This week's spring cleaning video that'll be out Thursday, hopefully, <laughs> um, we'll be tackling all of the bedrooms and bathrooms in the house. And one of the things I'm also going to be doing in there is going through my kids' clothes and packing away the things that they don't fit into and just better organizing all of those things. So. If you love that declutter organization aspect of my videos, make sure you tune into that video because there will be plenty there. After I get my daughter's laundry into the wash, I'm moving on up to my son Wyatt's room. We're also going to change his bedding, tidy up a bit in here, and vacuum the floors. Can't 
So we recently picked up this clock from Amazon. Um, I think it's called the Mella, Mella clock. Um, it's from Little Hippo. If you can see there. Little Hippo. Like I said, we got it on Amazon. I can link it down below too. It's supposed to like help. I think it can help sleep train, but it also can help your toddler know when it's awake time which is kind of like what our issue is right now. Wyatt, my three-year-old, has always kind of been a uh, early riser, <laughs> like 5 a.m. I mean, there were spurts when he was really little where it was like 4.30 he was pushing it. Um, and now we're kind of closer around the 5.30 to 6 mark is usually his sweet spot. He'll sleep till that every morning. Um, but my daughter, Elena, who is one, I think likes to sleep in. <laughs> I, cause you know, when he sleeps in, she'll sleep in. So I think he's waking her up in the morning and he'll come down early in the morning thinking it's time to be awake or by like 5 a.m. he's talking over the monitor asking, um, like, is it time to wake up yet? <laughs> and he'll say it every five minutes. Mommy, is it time to wake up yet? Mommy, is it time to wake up yet for for an hour? Um, I tried to have him stay in bed till 6 because I think that's a reasonable time for him to get out of bed in the morning. Um, so I got that clock to see if it would help him at all. Um, so really, it like it has a little smiley face on it. Sure again. it. has a little smiley face on it. And, oops. Um... So that means it's awake time and at the bottom here you can kind of set it. You can set, you can do alarm and things like that. We don't, definitely don't need an alarm for him. Um, but you can set their times that they're supposed to be asleep and awake right there. It's also a sound machine. We don't use that because we have our sound machine here that we've used for years from my baby. We just got it at Target. We've probably had bought four of those by now over the years <laughs> um but yeah and then it has a little light here so i'll just show you you can lock it and unlock it so your toddler can't change things um but like so we give him a little night light at night so this is what color it is when he's sleeping and the little face will look like it's sleeping and then um when um there's different colors you can set their night light um, we just stick with white so we don't confuse him. But basically when the color is green and his face is awake and smiling like this, that means it's time to wake up. We've probably had it for four, four nights now and the first, or five nights, the first two or three nights he'll, he slept in. I think it's kind of let him relax and he's not so worried about is it, like morning time, is it awake time? Are people doing things and I'm missing out? <laughs> and then it was past six, which is when I set it to turn green for him to know it's awake time and he can come downstairs. Um, and then he'll wake up and start screaming. Um, so he's done that basically every night. And I keep telling him, you know, if your clock is still sleeping and I tell him what that means. And if he's awake so he's green he's smiling then you can just come on downstairs you don't even need to ask um, because he's also gotten to a routine now where instead of asking over the monitor is it morning time yet he just comes downstairs to my room and says is it morning time yet and I'm like no it is not it's still bedtime it's still dark out I kind of got him into a bad habit where he comes downstairs um, and watches Halloween night until it's an acceptable time to wake up and usually it's just when Elena wakes up so my daughter um, and she'll wake up anytime between 6 30 and 7 so um, we got in a really bad habit with that now so I don't know I'm hoping if we keep using this it'll actually work I'm so in so yeah, if you guys have any tips or tricks that you've used with a toddler on how to keep them in their bed or at least in their room until a reasonable time, let me know down in the comments. I really need all of the help. Also, let me know if you've ever tried this clock before or if you've used one similar and 
Let me know if it worked for you. So we are checking off almost all the things on our list today, which is super exciting. There is one task left for the day, and that is my least favorite chore, which is folding laundry. So we are going to finish out this video with that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you again next time.